Yo, what's up, guys? Jumping here, and I am back in action, which means we are going to continue this Let's Play the Mass Effect trilogy. Can't remember what happened in the last episode. I'm just chilling right now in the Normandy, and we are going to do this uh, Extract the Turian Platoon mission now. Actually, I think I did the Grunt mission last. That would make sense. Can't remember. That's the one with the Rack Knight. This mission's pretty cool. We gotta help the Primarch with his son and all that. It's kind of epic at times. So we're gonna take Liar and Javik like we have been. Pretty much the same thing every time. I don't know why I always comment about it, but I do. That's just me. Alright. It's gonna be fun using my Lancer X. I still don't have that. You know, you guys are gonna find this interesting, but during my time when I wasn't actually, uh, playing or I was playing but I wasn't recording I was playing Mass Effect a little bit here and there primarily helping one of my buddies get some credits and yeah I got the Valkyrie X I couldn't believe that because I never once got that gun as an accommodation weapon when it came out I just never got it and I wasn't really playing all that much around that time so I wasn't doing the challenges but the second they put it in the packs, I got it ten times. And that pisses me off because that gun's shit, I'll be honest. Like, that that gun's, ugh. It's yucky. <laughs> it's garbage, man. It's a headshot kind of gun. And it just doesn't even do that that well. I think the Vindicator's better, honestly, for shooting, you know, aiming for the head with a multi-burst kind of assault rifle. Or even the Argus would be probably better than that. It's a bad gun, but... I have it at 10, so... This crash site's a nightmare. Looks like Rex was right about Reaper Scouts. Edie, any further intel? The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? The Primarch's son. Try to raise him. I've heard rumors of Cerberus activity on Tachanka, but nothing about Turians. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. Is that the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Edie, did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper Harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying! This sounds bad. Let's move. The level of destruction is rather amazing. Shepard, any idea what these Turians were here to do? It doesn't matter. Our mission is clear. Okay, so I almost forgot how to play because it's been so long. But got to put that cryo ammo on, then the disruptor ammo. Now we can go, and hopefully Liara. Uh, Anyway, my R bumper is super broken. Like I said, when I was uh, playing a Mass Effect 3, like they survived the crash, but then a harvester took them out. Died in the explosion? And then pulled out to be eaten by husks. Okay. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Then surprise is on our side. Exactly. Let's go. Alrighty, gotta sneak up. Yeah, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by Liar in the cutscene. Yeah, I was playing Mass Effect 3 or whatever, and in that time, I have realized that my L bumper and R bumper just does not work right for me. Like sometimes, so lame. So. Yeah, I think that's about it. Actually, there should be a harbinger. Oh, fuck. Oh, there we go. 
There you go. There's the bad boy. Yeah, these things are stupid. Um, you gotta be, uh, you can kill them, but most of the time they will try to escape the little bitches. Don't stop for us. We'll hit the main crash site. There's another pod ahead. Anyway, I actually should switch my armor too. I forgot that Keep I. Keep moving. We need to find the main idea. crash site ASAP. Now, of course, there shouldn't be anything to here that's too important. His father's promotion must be intense. War was a way of life for my people as well. If you couldn't fight the Reapers, you were left behind. God, they there's so much dialogue as you play. Like they don't ever just chillax and let you shoot enemies. There's always like people talking. Ugh. But anyway, so we gotta keep going. We got the other surprise. Follow my lead. Things are already dead. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. Cool, these fools. Thanks for the help. We'll rendezvous at the crash site. All right. So we can pretty much just run now to where the Victus is. Save Obiturians. It feels good. All right, let go. Do you read, Commander? Repeat. Do you read? Shepard here. What's your status? Hang tight. We're on our way. Oh, shit. When we find him, we'll ask. I remember. I know there's a part coming up here that sucks. It's, um... A harbinger is gonna come out of nowhere. There he is. Shepard here. attack me. It can, it can be really annoying. Understood. Yeah. He's gonna run away. Where are you going? Come back to the party! Oh, no, no, he ain't going nowhere. Oh, this guy. That happened, That explosion is just... That's something okay. else, that's for Let's sure. Let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. They're playing with political dynamite here. Maybe they should inform the Krogan. I need these guys working together. Better not to complicate things. Alright, so this is the high part right, right here. Let's move! Because there is a load of enemies. I mean, they, they throw... They throw them at you. <laughs> they sure know how to, that's for sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Blow some screws up. All that goodness. been so long I haven't really played this all that much I played it a little bit when I when my computer was broken um I would talk about a lot of this stuff but I know that I'm gonna get interrupted by dialogue like in any second I should pick that up yeah that gun comes in handy in a second here Wait for it. right away I think it's about to come in handy right now got it Ah, man, that's taking forever. Yeah, Harbinger's gonna come out of nowhere again. We need to blow his ass up. <clears throat> this gun's funny, though. Uh, one thing I realized about it... Here he comes. One thing I realized about this gun... This gun is basically the the abomination uh, explosion. <laughs> I deserve to die for that. <laughs> God, I do die. Oh man, that was pathetic. <laughs> How did I do that? Oh man, that was so funny. I shot him right at the. Uh, I, sh I missed. I don't even know what the hell happened. Like, I, I missed his nutsack. I think that's what I was aiming for. Alright, I got the whole part again now. What the hell? Whatever. Um, anyway, it happens though. Alright, yeah, so. Alright, yeah, I lost it. Like, uh, alright, here's the thing. I guess I'll talk a little bit about my whole computer situation. 
or what happened, kind of. I, I haven't got into that, like, what exactly happened with my computer. Oh, uh, don't kill me again. That would be, that would be sad. Um, basically, I was rendering some videos, and I started to notice that as I was rendering videos, besides the fact that the render times were getting really ridiculous, because they were all, always pretty bad, but I'm talking about they were getting a lot worse, a lot worse. And, um, yeah, basically what ended up happening... My sound effects might be totally fucked. Let me look at this real quick. That'd be really lame if my sound effects are really, really turned up. They probably are. Uh, no, they're not. Okay, that's fine. I thought I would have had these things like blasted because if it would have been blasted, that would have been the flares gonna just drown out my voice like crazy. But anyway, um, right. yeah, my render times were getting really ridiculous, and then what would what started to happen was my computer would just randomly cut off in the middle of the render render and that was that was the worst because like I'm talking about like right for a 30 minute video my render times were like three hours and that is just so unbearable um and when you start talking about like the fact that like my computer was turning off on its own in the middle of that yeah that that was really lame because um when I say in the middle of that I really mean in the middle of that all right let's get the epic shot now bitch Area secured, Shepard. Yeah, that's the abomination noise and uh, explosion, actually. But, uh, yeah, my computer was just turning off in the middle of that, and one night it just kept doing it, and I was this laying way. down, getting ready to pass out, and just let it render as I slept, and it turned off, and it didn't turn back on. It just didn't turn back on the next day. I have a feeling if I would have got up, because I, I, I mean, I was awake when it actually turned off, but I kind of just said, you know, you know what? I'm just going to let it be off, let it rest, hopefully tomorrow it's going to stop doing this, and I went to sleep. I think if I would have got up and turned it back on, it would have turned back on, but, you know, it's whatever. I, uh, the good thing is, is that now, I'm going to be, like, I'm going to be sitting here, like, doing this for, like, a couple hours, like, instead of, like, ten, you know, ten minutes, every ten minutes I have to stop the recording, like, that's, I literally got to that point because my computer was freezing so much. God, that computer sucked. <laughs> it was really bad. So this is going to be a lot better now, guys. Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said... Stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. And so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? I'm sorry, guys. I keep forgetting to do that shit. I gotta turn that off. Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men! I own what happened here today. 
But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turian. And we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Alright, so we just saved Vic... Vic... Ah, I can't talk right now. I actually am really tired. I just wanted to get back to work, you know. Been up for a long time, but... Victus. I, I remember I, I used to call him Vic Dick because of my speech impediment, and I always thought that was really funny. <laughs> I suck with T's, so... <laughs> Cerberus bomb? What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelfic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... and that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Liar! Alright, let's go ahead and keep moving. I really do want to change my armor. I forgot what I had. I had a setup where I had like a little bit of power damage, a little bit of weapons damage. Why they got us guarding the door anyway? He's gonna break regs right now. War makes people stupid. Besides, you talked with Moreau? The lecturers invaded this ship and kidnapped the crew. Damn. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready for anything to come through that door. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna change my armor real quick. I need to anyway. And while I'm down here, I guess I can talk to Steve. I think I need to still. Or you have to talk to him a couple times. Tell his ass to go to the Citadel and stop bullshitting. Hey, Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at. I wish you could have seen that gun on Tachanka firsthand. Oh. I cut the auditory okay. emulators and watched that server. Whatever. Are all right, so I have to sit here and let my armor. Beautiful. Actually, I guess I don't. Sometimes I worry. Yeah, I need to let that load up. I hate that helmet right there. Like the best weapon damage helmet is like stupid. I kind of like that helmet though. Alright, so I want to go for a little bit of power damage, a little bit of uh, weapons damage. Let's see, what's the weapons damage? Well, that looks kind of cool. I changed that yellow too. Yellow's kind of getting on my nerves, you know. Go ahead. Uh, go for. That increases headshot? What? <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> headshot, yeah, that's pretty even. Alright, let's change these uh, colors a little bit. Let's see, tint to yellow. Change it to. Let's see what we got here. Kinda wanna go for like a red. 
let's change our lights as well to red and our pattern color to whatever that red was down there where is that alright yeah that looks dope I like I like that uh, chess piece because it has the grenades it looks sick alright so now we can go and do that one mission the one where we have to detonate a, a bomb or diffuse it doesn't matter detonate diffuse it's the same thing right duh alright let's go ahead and uh, do that though this is a sad mission guys I remember I, I I think I asked a question and I said what was the saddest moment in Mass Effect 3 and somebody comment like when this guy dies I'm like well, who gives a fuck <laughs> about this guy like this guy is nobody alright let's go ahead and uh pick this. I mean, I'm not saying that it isn't a sad moment, but still, like, it's not the saddest moment. Like, why do we care about this guy's son? It's like, ooh. Alright, I'm just gonna start tapping the button real quick. Shut up! Leave me alone. Alright, so, we gonna do this now, then we can kill that Genophase after we get done. That's gonna be fun. We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. To keep the Krogan from becoming a threat. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Yeah, this mission is a freaking war zone. But, uh, although it is a war zone, you don't get affected by any of the freaking bombs flying. I mean, there's a ton of bombs everywhere flying. Keep your head down! wanted to know too why is this such a war zone right here <laughs> you know what I mean it's just three of us coming in here like it's not like the whole turning platoon's like following me that would be cool I mean, I can never get something like cool like that obviously but. so that would be cool if that turning platoon was with me and that would explain why it was such a war zone once we reach the bomb I'll need to reprogram the trigger mechanism Tells that Alright, let go. This is a very easy After, like, at around a certain point, like, at first, at first, I guess it can be a little, whatever, somewhat tricky. And then, uh, around a certain point, you don't even have to worry about anything, honestly, because all the enemies just start running away from you. And it's actually kind of funny. I, I like this chest piece though, it makes your back look all like epic and shit. Like, that's so cool. Ah, no, 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 no! Hey, turrets. Everybody hates turrets. Alright, won't blow this shit up. That! Flare is amazing, it just knocked over that guardian. The Turians must have theater proven to plant such a weapon. No one wanted another galactic war, but planting a bomb on Tachanka? It's monstrous. Yeah, Liara, it is monstrous. Cerberus is putting up a fight, but the 9th platoon is advancing, Commander. 
Oh. Good work. Totally missed. <laughs> oh God. They throw the best smoke grenades ever. <laughs> God, it is so annoying so quick. Here they go. Now they're all running like bitches that. again. Whoa! <laughs> Hell yeah! That was fucking awesome. All right, let's keep going. Right, right, right. He's dead already. Dad. Agreed. Let's go. Here's the bomb up here, it's pretty cool. It must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. Uh, way to deal with an enemy. The Terrians will be. No, sir. They will try to stop us at all costs. That is the only time you ever get to see, like, enemies actually have a running animation. Just, I just realized that. They were actually sprinting like crazy. We need to hurry. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Alright, so originally get a lot of these are gonna be... Clear! really close so we just gotta find him and, him. and then it gets real it. easy especially if you're doing what I'm doing with the explosions because they're gonna keep coming oh, I'm missing it I'm missing it no. oh shit grab him pick him up yeah you can start bombing them up there on the shuttle and that is just epic when you do that alright there should be another shuttle here we go yeah you guys are all dead goodbye Shuttle. Oh, man. Watch for more shuttles. They're dropping them at like the perfect spot where I can get them. Oh, man. Are they all floating? They're floating up in the air. That's cool. I guess I must have blown up the shuttle some magical way. Right, I know an Atlas is coming. Yep, there he is. Take that thing down. Now! Let's go ahead and dark channel his ass and I guess you could uh, if you have a sniper rifle you can shoot that canopies out and uh take that atlas for this part. Probably wouldn't matter much. Commander! Firewall's down! I'm in! Spirits! Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's set to detonate. Disarm it. No time. I have to separate the trigger from the bomb. Now. Cover me.
Lieutenant! Victory. At any cost. Sad. Commander, I've got radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. You get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. I can't count the times I've watched friends risk everything for a cause. To see the lieutenant die for us. For his platoon. It hits close to home. I'm getting tired of seeing people die. Lieutenant Victor's fought for a cause he believed in. A soldier can't ask for more than that. He died well. Nobody dies well. I'm tired of saying otherwise. Alrighty, so that's that for that poor fella. But I don't know, he redeemed himself in the end, which was good. But it's whatever. Anyway, so now that that's all done, we could cure the Geneface, or we could go and. Let me shut up. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Pack it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primarch, you had a bomb on Tachunka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. I understand your reservations before, Commander, but I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. My son... He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. All right. So now we can pretty much either do the one ghost, Firebase ghost mission... Because I think that a bastard guy, he might disappear, literally, if uh, I don't go back to the Citadel before it gets attacked. That would suck, but I'll have to figure that one out.